I am in Chicago, sitting at the airport, waiting for Daisy to get off her plane. Yes, she is coming to visit us again, so I'm here to pick her up. The plane is supposed to land in about half an hour, and then I think she'll have to go through customs, so it's going to be a while. I guess I can head in. I just checked her flight. It is on time, so that's a good thing. And then once I've picked her up, we'll decide if we're going to spend the night in Milwaukee or head home to the UP. I'll wait and see what she says. I'd like to stay one more night in Milwaukee. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a long, late drive. But if she wants to head to head home, that's fine too because there's not a whole lot to do in Milwaukee. I could take her shopping. I don't know how tired she's going to be. It's a long day. I think the Netherlands is six hours ahead of us. Might be seven. It depends on the time of year. Maybe it's five. I don't know. It's about six hours. They're about six hours ahead of us. I can check. The Netherlands is seven hours ahead of the central time zone and only six of <laughs> the eastern. So she, her flight left at 4 a.m. Central Standard Time and it's arriving at 1.15. So that's a long day for her. She might want to spend the night in Milwaukee. Last time she came to visit us, we drove all the way home from Chicago. That's a long drive. She did okay though, she's a trooper. Okay, I'm gonna head into the airport and I'll be waiting in there. Look at this, there's snow. We are home, yay. You know, I knew we had a lot of snow when I left, and it snowed, I don't know, three inches while I was away for the week, but when I was driving home tonight, and it's not that late, it's like after 10, let's see, I'll check, oh, it's almost 11, anyway, I've been home for maybe 10 minutes, as I was driving home, I missed the turn, turn off to my road, and there was, the snow was so deep, I didn't even see it. I'm like, where did it go? I've lived here for many, many years and I missed the turn off. That's sad. I did a U-turn and then I slowed way down so that I could find my road. I mean, I knew where it was. I don't know, maybe the street light was out or something. It made it really dark and with the really tall snow piles. It was nice in Chicago today when I picked up Daisy from the airport and I'm sure she'll be in some upcoming videos. I didn't record any on the way home. I got a picture though after I picked her up from the airport. I don't know, I'm too tired to think about it. I'll share it here now though. I sent it to her mom to let her know she arrived and that's it. I drove right from Chicago all the way up here. I stopped in Milwaukee actually, okay, for about five minutes because I wasn't sure if I was coming home tonight or if we were going to spend the night in Milwaukee but I asked Daisy what would you like to do and she said let's go home so well I think she probably said to your house meaning my house but um so I said okay I gotta stop at the apartment and pick up my stuff and I did that and I can hear the neighbors are out and they can probably hear me talking oh I feel like I gotta whisper anyway so we came came home no snow in Chicago, it was nice. And it was warmer in Chicago than it was in Oklahoma City <laughs> last week. As we drove further north, there was snow in Milwaukee and, uh, oh, I did get a video of Daisy. Okay, I hope she doesn't mind me sharing it. I don't think so, last time she said she didn't care. It was, uh, yeah, Daisy <laughs> in the snow in Milwaukee. Okay. Daisy's first time in real snow. Except <laughs> this is Milwaukee snow. <laughs> what do you think? This is awesome. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Now she's going to have wet shoes for the rest of our ride. But <laughs> Okay, and as we drove further north, the snow. You know, it got a little deeper and a little deeper, but it got really deep when we got home. Just within a few miles of home. We live in a snow belt. Okay, so I'm going to go in, unpack, and go to bed. Good night, guys. There's the sign. Yeah. <laughs> we are back in Michigan. You 
want anything from McDonald's? An ice cream cone? Yeah. Do you? I guess everybody thought it'd be a good time to come to McDonald's. <laughs> That's a long line, and all we're getting is a McFlurry.